morning, this is Bob Mason from FX Empire and welcome to the daily crypto tech review of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Ripple's XRP. We'll be looking at the MACDs, moving averages and the day's support resistance and pivot levels. It is Sunday the 1st of November. Jumping straight into Bitcoin against the US dollar, bullish start to the day after an early pullback. We need to see Bitcoin avoid a fallback through the pivot at 13756 to take a run at the first major resistance level say at 14087. Going to see support from the broader market to break back through to 14,000 levels, break out from yesterday's high that was at 14,055. Inspiring an extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, could see Bitcoin test resistance at 14,400 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 14,386. Fall back through the pivot level would bring the first major support level sitting at 13,457 into play. Barring an extended sell-off on the day, Bitcoin should steer well clear of sub-13,400 levels. Second major support level sits at 13,126. Looking at the MACD, slight narrowing of the bearish histogram after yesterday's late afternoon bearish cross, but nothing to suggest a bullish day ahead, so you need to keep an eye on that. On the EMAs, a slight pull away by the 50 from the 100 and the 200 support of this early morning move. So key through the morning, avoid a fall back through the pivot at 13,756 and break back through to 14,000 levels to bring resistance levels into play. Moving across to Ethereum against the US dollar, also a bullish start to the morning here. Going to need to see Ethereum avoid a fall back through the pivot at 387.17 to support a run at the first major resistance level, seeing at 3. 93.57. Getting an easy support from the broader market for Ethereum to avoid a fallback through to sub 390s, however. So, barring an extended rally on the day, but that first major resistance level and yesterday's high at 394 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, could see Ethereum test resistance at 400 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 400.41. A fall back through the pivot would bring the first major support level saying at 380.33 into play. Buying an extended sell off on the day, Ethereum should steer well clear of the second major support level sitting at 373.93. Looking at the MACD, you've got a marked narrowing of the bearish histograms and a possible bullish cross there, so keep an eye on the MACD in the early part of the day. On the EMAs, a narrowing of the 50 on the 100 and the 200 also supportive of this early morning upside. So avoiding a fallback through the pivot and a break through that first major resistance level should bring 400s into play. Moving across to Litecoin against the US dollar bullish start to the morning, good news Litecoin avoid a fall through the pivot at 55.33 to support the run at the first major resistance level saying at 57. Going to see support from the broader market for Litecoin's breakout from yesterday's high that was at 56.50. Sparring extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level to cap any upside. In the event of breakout, should see Litecoin test resistance at 58 before any pullback. Second major resistance level sits at 58.18. Fall through the pivot will bring the first major support level sitting at 54.15 into play. Barring an extended sell off on the day, Litecoin should stay close sub 54s. And the 23.6% FIB second major support level sits at 52.48. Looking at the MACDs, nothing conclusive after yesterday's late bearish cross, so need to keep an eye on the MACD. On the EMAs, however, we are seeing the 50 look to cross over the 200 and narrow on the 100. That would be a bullish cross to support further upside, so keep an eye on that as well. But Litecoin would ultimately need to avoid fall through the pivot at 55.33 and break out through that first major resistance level to then target 58s. Moving across to Ripple's XRP against the US dollar, mixed start to the day. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP avoid a fallback through the pivot at 0.2406 to bring the first major resistance level 0.2432 into play. Buying extended rally on the day, expect that first major resistance level in yesterday's high was at 0.24376 to cap any upside. In the event of a breakout, you should see Ripple's XRP test the second major resistance level at 0.2464 before any pullback. Pullback through the pivot level 
we bring the first major support level today at 0.2373 into play. Barring an external sell up on the day, Ripple's XRP should avoid sub 0.2350 levels. Second major support level sits at 0.2347. Looking at the MACDs, a narrowing of the bearish histogram and a possible bullish cross formation there, so we need to keep an eye on that. That's supporting the early morning upside. We're also seeing the 50 narrow the gap on the 100 and the 200, also supporting the early morning move. So key through the early part of the day, avoid a fallback through the pivot, and then break through that first major resistance level to then target 0.245 levels and the second major resistance level on the day.